Welcome back to Two Minute Tuesday Rig Videos and today I'm going to be making steel traces for lure pipe fishing. Now if you're chucking lures this kind of size, these are 25 centimeter wolf creeks, I wouldn't use the materials I'm using today. Steel will fracture at some point when you're using it with real heavy weights. So any bend in the steel is a weak point, so you're using these big lures with screwing lead heads really isn't the material to use. However, if you are throwing lures this kind of size, steel's fine. It won't have a problem and that's what you have to get your head around when you're throwing different types of lures. You have to use the correct material to balance what weight and what type of lure that you're fishing. So steel's a really good trace material to use for I would recommend 20 centimeter baits and smaller, going down to tiddy little things. You can scale down the size of the wire and your clips and your swivels, which we'll talk about in a minute, and wire is absolutely fine for most circumstances. Just move that, put in a little bit of product placement. Check those out if you haven't. Right, so I am gonna be using 26 pound wire because I'm gonna be making traces for very small pike baits in the range of, I would say, seven to 11, 12 centimeters. So not very heavy going to be chucking them with I would say 10 to 15 gram uh, weights maximum so if you think about it what we're looking at there 30 40 grams maximum so 26 pound wire is probably about the right strength wire you could go up to 30 might use 30 for these here I've got a 45 pound test wire now for that I'd use that for slightly bigger lures with heavier nose weights obviously and then I'd probably use 60 pound wire for bigger stuff. So I'm trying to balance, in my med this is what I call my medium to small um, lure range, I'm trying to balance the correct weighting of trace to counteract what lure I'm throwing. And obviously, to make things even more complicated, it's the, the rod I'm using has to balance with the reel and the braid, because I'm gonna be using braid most of the time. So if I'm chucking those small eight to 12 centimetre baits with the 26 pound wire trace, I'll be using a very light casting rod probably 10 to 30 grams. If I've thrown a bit heavier, might be 15 to 40, but that'd be it. And obviously I'll be using 20 pound braid because I'm fishing predominantly for small pike in waters where I'm targeting mainly jacks. If I'm trying to catch bigger pike, I'll scale up the tackle and the trace appropriate to what I want to use. So I think it's all about balancing out your gear. That way you get the, the best presentation, you feel what's going on and you enjoy your lure fishing more. So. 26 pound wire today, and obviously I'm gonna be using very small swivels that you probably can't see there, but I'll do a close up. And also the clip for attaching your lure to your trace is really important. Now I've tried all sorts of clips over the years, and at the minute I'm using these mustard, these are called ultra point. They're kind of a twist on type uh, mechanism, and they've been working superbly for me. And these work really well with the small lures. I wouldn't use these with big lures, um, not for any main reason, I just haven't tried it. I prefer more sturdy clips. Again, bigger clip, thicker wire, bigger lure, it's all balanced. So for these 26 pound wire tracers today, I'm using the Ultra Point, and this is a size, uh, size one, 25 pound breaking strain. So as you can see, it kind of matches the wire and the swivels will be about 30 to 40 pound breaking strain. So we'll actually probably about 50 pound because swivels tend to be a lot stronger for their size. So that's basically my setup. So let's get on to the trace making itself. If any of you watched me making the pike snap tackles, you saw that I used a, a fly tying vise. I'm gonna use the same again. There's an extra set of hands. So I just put the, the spool containing the wire into the vise. And also last time I failed miserably with the two minutes. Let's see if I can do this in two minutes. Let's put two minutes on the clock. Right, first thing to do is make a loop in the wire. Pass it through the bottom end of the swivel. Take the loop back around the top end of the swivel and you pull the whole thing tight by pulling the tag end of the wire. Don't pull the main, don't pull the swivel against the main part of the, the trace. If you do that, you'll get a kink as it slides through the, the little overhand loop at the bottom here. Right, next thing, get a nice, make sure you turn the wire the correct way and get a nice tight twist of wire against itself. Now this wire is rubber coated. So it's it's good, it has lots of positives to be used as a trace wire. However, it has a memory because of the rubber coating and that causes a problem 
in this phase of the rig making, which I'll show you. So what we want to do is just use a bit of dexterity and hold the tag end with your fingers while still holding the twiddling stick. And then you want to get a lighter and just seal the plastic together by adding a bit of heat. Now don't burn yourself and don't put too much heat on it to completely melt the plastic, but you want to melt it so it then sets against itself. We'll soon find out when I let go of the tag end. Absolutely perfect. This has got memory in it still, so let it untwist slowly. Take off the tag and then I'm going to use the old trusty super glue belts and braces approach. So I'm going to super glue this now. And now I'm going to attach the, the clip that I'm using, which as I stated earlier was a Mustad Ultra Point. Length for trace, 30 centimetres, something like that. That's probably maximum more you need. And I'm going to secure the clip exactly the same way as I attach the swivel. So I'm just going to make a loop in the wire, put it through the, the eye of the clip. Don't put it through the clip itself. Same principle, pull the tag end so it's nice and tight. Twiddle in the stick again. So it's the same procedure, very simple. Okay, right, same problem. Memory in the wire. And what I've got here, I've made the tag end too small. So I could burn my fingers here. Add a bit of uh, heat. Super glue to finish. So there we have it. Really sturdy way of making traces for small to medium large lures for pike. And it's really simple. Give it a go.